six star power, well, I should probably start saying my name. I gotta get used to that. But basically, I am sort of back. Sort of. Um, I've been MIA for like a really good reason. I feel antisocial. And this is affecting my lifestyle because. Normally, I get back to texting people and doing videos and stuff. I just don't feel like doing anything. And because of this quarantine, I feel really bad. <laughs> I don't feel like myself. I I just want to get out and get back to my old lifestyle, but I can't. So, I thought I'll try to vlog the next couple of days. And, uh, yeah. But how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing okay during this pandemic. Anyway, see ya. So, my ear, I have a skin condition called seborrheic dermatitis. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the redness of my face is actually dry skin causing it to be a rash and it'll peel off, it'll burn and all that. I think I'm getting it in my ear now because I was just like scratching some parts off and don't know if you can tell but it's dry skin and I actually peel, peel a little bit right here and it bled. So I'm just gonna get my Thing. So, I got my, my creams, because my face is starting to do that thing again. It doesn't look too bad, but the very first time it did this, I did not know what was happening. I was trying to exfoliate, I was trying to put cream on it. I tried making my own soap with tea tree and exfoliant and see if that would work. It just made it a lot worse. So basically the very first time that it happened I had this really big thing on my face. I had dandruff in my eyebrows. I had redness here. And then I had like a red blotch right here. And it just kept getting worse and worse and the doctor finally figured out what was wrong with it. So I'm just going to apply my thing. And hopefully in a few days it will die down. What I find crazy about this is that once it goes away, it won't stay that way for a while. So the last time I put this on was like maybe a month and a half ago maybe a couple of weeks ago. I can't remember. I know it was pretty recent, but not that recent. Just in case, because I know I get a watch right there. Just in case for my eyebrows, because I know that's where it mostly is at too. I don't like getting dandruff in my eyebrows because I wear glasses and one of the one of the other reasons I don't wear my glasses, I'm just going to take whatever's left and put it in my on my ear just in case. Ugh, that burns. I feel the cut, so and I also get stuff behind my ear too. You don't notice it right now, but I do. They're actually on both sides of my ears. Okay, so, yeah, so hopefully that will work, and what I do every day when I use this stuff is twice a day, I have to put one cream in, in, in like, I have to put, like, two even, like, they have to be even, I have to squirt it even each and then mix it with my hand and then I apply it on my face.
Sorry, I'm trying not to touch the thing. All right. Okay. I also got to show you guys something. So, um, my bed, the one I just got, the box ring, a piece fell off and did something to my leg. So I'll show you the box first. So this piece came off and apparently there's nails to it. And it, it was open like, like this. So every time I got out of my bed, my leg caught on it. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I got pretty wounded. I got a cut here, I got a cut here, 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 and then I got a big cut here. So, yeah, that happened. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just taped it up and hopefully when this coronavirus ends my friend said he'll come over and we'll f figure out what's wrong with it so yeah so fun hello everybody I I woke up a while ago I'm having some severe sleep sleeping patterns because of this virus I'm also on low on food so I'm just Going out the pudding till taco night, which might be my roommates are gonna have a taco night. So yeah, and I'm spending some of my time playing Overwatch, and then I'm gonna watch This Is Us. I just got it out about two years ago. I got into it, but then I stopped watching it. But then I got back into it not too long ago. So yeah. <laughs>
trying to clean my room, as you can tell. And I think I'm done. Hang on, I gotta check the other side. I switch into shorts because I was getting pretty warm in the in the pajamas. So I'm just gonna open the window. Because I'm pretty sure there's nice air. Ooh, that feels nice. But yeah, um, I thought I bring this up, but I I have Nesquik by my bed, and you probably wonder why does she have cereal by her bed? Well, I have a te teeth issue where if my mouth gets too hot, it will hurt, and I need to chew on something either really really cold. Or something really really hard which is why if I'm out of ice cream or something really cold I'll just chew on cereal it also makes a great late night snack just saying so yeah that's pretty much it to why I have cereal by my bed I refuse to remove it until it's out which my other cereal I ran out of the other night <laughs> But I have to fill that out, which is a good thing I did. Good thing I'm cleaning my room today. It's not too bad now, so yeah. Well, that went okay. <laughs> but to be honest, I prefer a gym. I don't feel like working out, and I really need equipment, like actual equipment, and. And I was actually losing weight over the summer when this happened, when I was using the uh, equipment and the, the little events and stuff at my gym. And to be honest, I prefer that over working at home because I don't feel that motivated to do it. And plus, they have a pool. <laughs> I was hoping to go swimming this summer and do aqua fit and all that, and now I can't. So now we're just going to sit here and we're just going to... I'm just going to do something else. Come on. Sit. I don't know if you guys can see me. No, oh, you guys can't. Hold on, people. Can you see me? I hope so. Because I'm kind of bored and I think I'm just going to do my makeup. And I don't really do makeup too often, so... This is one of those days when you're so bored in quarantine where you're just going to do whatever. And to be honest, I'm ready to leave. I'm ready to go. I want to explore the world. And it doesn't help that my depression is affecting me because I've been super antisocial and my friends have kind of been noticing this, but... I don't feel like talking. I don't feel like hanging out on certain social media. There's a few people I'll hang out with, which I've been hanging out with a lot recently. And I just don't feel that great to socialize. Oh, I forgot to put the cat post back. Oh, I'll do that when I'm done. Okay. Mm. I'm thinking my summer look. I have two summer looks. There's an orange sunset one, and then there's this one from this YouTube tutorial learned from Made You Look by Lex. So I'm thinking I'm going to do the Made You Look by Lex wherever I put my <coughs> chopping things. I'm just going to make sure I have everything. Oh no. Oh, there it is. So this is it. This is where my life has led to makeup. At least I don't wear it every day.
well, I tried. I'll just give you guys a closer look. This is my famous Diva inspired makeup. I regret doing the eyeliner, but my eyes look so look dark. So I'm just going to try fixing a little bit up. There we go. Uh -huh. I I like the the eyeshadow, like I really do. But I feel like the eyeliner is messing it all up. Plus, I look really different. So, what do y'all think? Too much? I think it's too much. Let's go to the bathroom. This may be too much. But I like it. See, this is. Wait, can I be like a mom? Anyway, back to my room. Hello, Miss Buttered Scotch. This is my owner. She wakes me up at 5 in, in the morning every day for food. For breakfast. 5 a.m. Oh, one thing I want to show you guys. I got Disney cards against humanity. I'm dying to play with my friends as soon as this virus ends. As soon as this virus ends. Are you hungry?